Hello everyone and welcome back to Sly 2 Band of Thieves Blind. On the last episode, we started the... What episode number is it? Six? Uh, chapter six? Uh, he Who Tames the Iron Horse. Uh, we headed up to Nunavut Bay, Canada, where we're dealing with Jean Bison, who is a man out of time. He was frozen solid for 120 years, but... He's on a one-man mission to cut down every single tree he ever finds. Uh, so he's joined the Claw Gang so that he gets the funding for that. And he has several pieces of the of the uh, clockwork parts. We don't know which pieces, though, yet. Uh, we've instead gone around the area that we can search and gather up all of the clue bottles and also one of the non-booby trap loot that we found. So, on this episode... Got a mission over there. Cabin Crimes. This is probably the standard recon, seeing what, where, where Jean Bison is and what we're stealing. And then uh, I think we'll spend the rest of the episode getting the other two booby trap things. There's one over there, and then there's one in the bear cave down there. That should be fine. Let's see how easy this goes. Hold on, you have something I want to, never mind, you're turning around. Well, I still want to steal it. Ah. Nope, I said ha ha. I wonder where we're going to go at the beginning of this. Okay, I want to I also want to try and get on one of these trains because why are they giving me this like little notice that I can Oh. Ooh, I can even walk on them. Okay. Ooh. Bear. Oh, God, the train's behind me. <laughs> I almost got hit by the train. I also, I think I, I think I found out how these things work. Because we were kind of just, like, doing nothing. Wait. Yeah, I think we have to, uh like fling back like this then we press the jump button and it'll fling us up like a slingshot that cabin may seem rustic but don't be fooled it's the control center for jean Vizan's trade empire sneak inside and raid his files you're sure to find out where he keeps his clockwork parts ransacking his files doesn't sound hard now climbing up a sheer rock wall that'll be a challenge you're in luck. Before Jean Bassan took over, this used to be a popular destination for rock climbers. Some of their old wall hooks are still around. I'm guessing I just jump and hit the circle button to latch on. That's right. And remember to lean back before you spring off the hook. You'll get more altitude. Thanks for the tip. I'll give it a try. Okay, I should have shut up because I didn't know that they were going to explain it. <laughs> I literally talked about it and they explained it the second after. Okay. Was that a mole? Was that Mr. Rossetti? Ah, ow! Alright, I'm just gonna go in here. There's no, like, signal that there's a guy there. Jackpot, Sly! That's Sean Bisson! Looks like he didn't notice me come in. Just stay out of sight and take a picture of each of his train routes. They should narrow our search for his share of the clockwork parts. All right, I'm on it. Hello, Arpeggio here. Salutations, Mr. Arpeggio. Y'all got time to shoot the breeze? Of course, for you, chum, always. Although, must we communicate through that dreadful speakerphone? Yeah, I can think better while my legs move. Pumps blood to your brain. Yes, of course. One must keep blood in one's brain. But do tell. Is there some pressing matter you'd like to discuss? First off, are you still a-coming on schedule to get that Northern Lights battery? Yes, we're well underway. My flim should arrive at the end of the week. Bullseye. For a second, when are you gonna give me a look-see at that clockwork brain of yours? I'd sure like to buy it off you. Be song, you covetous troglodyte. You've already got the lion's share of the parts. Would you take my meager portion of the robotic bird for your own and strip me of all my earthly pleasures? Easy. 
easy there, partner. You're all up in a lather. It's just that I found some real use for the clockwork parts I got. Why, I put three of them in the engines of my best trains. With those robotic doohickeys feeding the fire, them trains will run all night and all day. I call them my iron horses. Of course, I gotta keep the plans hidden. Stuffed them in my three trophy bass. Sounds like you're making capital use of your share of the robotic loot. But for now, the clockwork brain stays with me on the blimp. Although, when I arrive to pick up the Northern Lights battery, I might be persuaded to give you a peek. That'll do fine. By the way, you ready to giddy up into Perry for the final hoedown? Yes! The blimp's hypnotist wavelengths conform to the specs drawn up by the Contessa, and Dimitri, before his unfashionable capture, did a bang-up job of distributing spice through his nightclub. Sounds like all you're missing is some northern light electricity. You're correct, sir. Yours is the final piece to the puzzle, the missing link. Once the battery is aboard, nothing will stand in the claw gang's way. Harris will be ours. Yeah, yeah, okay. So, I guess I'll be seeing you at the end of the week. Right. Farewell, me song. Still on the lip. Ta-ta. Okay, I was gonna take a photo, but then I noticed that they were discussing plot lore. So, Arpeggio's on a blimp? Ooh, and he has the brain. And his pieces are all in the trains. I rhyme, okay. That's one of them. So he doesn't have any of them on him. They're all in his trains. So I gotta find a way to derail all his trains. Well, that sucked. Ooh. Well, he's not looking. I'll jump over here. Haha. I like how he's just pacing in his own house. Sly, did you hear that? Bison's hidden the Iron Horse blueprints in his trophy bats. Head for the fish on top of the fireplace and steal those plants. <laughs> oh, I didn't. He I thought he was like, he said trophy, but I didn't hear what the other word was. Excellent. Now get out of that cabin before you're spotted. I didn't see the safe in there. After analyzing Bisson's decorating techniques, I think we'll find the other trophy bass above the mantle in the two remaining cabins. Ah, okay, so there's more blueprints to go find. There's a cabin over here. Leave me alone, eagles, please. I mean you no harm. It goes against my culture to harm an eagle. <laughs> I do see where the where the uh, moles are at now. Okay. Yep, just like I thought. Get to the fish above the mantle and steal those blueprints. Attention all cabin guards. I've heard tell from the boys in Pomerosa Cabin there's someone been in my hidden blueprints. Everyone stay sharp. This ain't no summer camp. I don't pay you boys to lollygag while there's a thief in these parts. A lot of people in here. Two down, one to go. Do I dare try and steal from them? This guy's a shiny pocket. That guy's asleep. That guy, I can't tell. Oh, it looks like he also has a shiny pocket. No, I don't care. There's easier targets outside. That building didn't have the safe either. I could snag this now and just book it. I can't take it. I'm in the middle of a job. I just realized that. I, I didn't even attempt to. I just knew that I couldn't. He 
these moles are gonna be annoying because I can't tell where they are until it's a little too late. Don't hit me train, don't hit me train, don't hit me train. Oh boy. Is that where I'm meant to go? Excuse me? There's nothing better than walking between two people and they're not seeing you. The last trophy, Bass, is above the fireplace. Be careful. Oh, oh boy. There's the safe! I'm going to have to clear this place out, aren't I? Exceptional work, Sly! That's the last of the blueprint! Why'd you send me down here, game? Go in the fire! Woo! It actually worked. Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. I'm alive! Yay! Oh, I'm getting a lot of money out of these, uh, out of these chairs. I'm gonna break everything in here. This is the one building that caught me, and it was from... It was not my fault. The game made me do it. It's, it didn't let me stay up there. I think the books would be fragile. I'm glad they had a giant fireplace here. All right, what's inside here? Jean Bisson's in for another rude awakening the next time he checks in this vault. The code should be 129. What does the music box move let me do? <laughs> also, is it, is it a sly move? It's a sly move. Does it put guards to sleep? <laughs> I mean, why else would you be playing that song? Armed with all three blueprints, we should be able to isolate and track the Iron Horse trains through that satellite dish. Top of the mountain, huh? Shouldn't take long. I'm not done yet? It's still the same mission, right? Yes. Oh, I don't want to fight. Don't make me fight the eagles. Let me just activate this, the satellite and run. Well, you heard that. Thankfully, I'm nowhere there. I mean, you have a good thing. Ooh. That's not a nugget. That's actually just a giant piece of gold. Man, if only I was lucky enough to carry a giant piece of gold in my back pocket. This appears to be the only way up. Keep an eye out for those rock climber wall hooks. They might be useful. It's a good thing I've been up here already. This 
is great. We've got total access to the train's GPS system. It's all on my computer. Head back to the safe house. I'll crunch some numbers and give you and Murray the rundown. <laughs> Thanks to Sly's efforts, we now know the location of all three of the local clockwork parts. Two lugs and a stomach. John Besson has grafted each piece to the engine in one of his iron horse trains. This improvement allows the trains to run all night and all day. We won't have the luxury of sneaking in while they're stopped. While they're in motion, the only way aboard is through a hatch on the caboose roof, which unfortunately has been locked down. These need to go. First, collect the spice gas from the balloons above town, and then land on the back of the caboose to blow off the locks. Once the way is cleared, I'll suit up and jump into Iron Horse number one while it passes near town. With some luck, we'll have the first clockwork lug in a few hours. there been balloons up in the sky this whole time and I just never noticed them no they're not even in there right now oh, the game was about to play a trick on me <laughs> let's go get the piece that's inside the bear cave first I still don't know if I can beat up the bear. <laughs> Saying that out loud is kind of, kind of weird, but you know what I'm talking about. Elaborate plate. What's it called? I did not mean Attention, to. Attention, man. This here's John Masson. That was a quality job you boys did on the spice on them boats. Soon enough, I'll have one of them special iron horse trains come by and pick it all up for distribution. Stay sharp. And once this here spice business is taken care of, we'll have ourselves a hunting party. Go out into the woods and kill us some bears, eh? <laughs> okay, let's go get that other piece. You turn around. There we go. Free money. Ooh. Haha, <laughs> sucker. The annoying part about this piece is that we have to worry about all of the... You're probably gonna respawn, but whatever. You need to worry about all of the bear traps that are scattered around here. Train's getting in the way. All right, we're home free. That was nice and simple. I don't know if there's another one that's missing.
<laughs> well, that's a lot of money. All right, we can buy this then. Oh, I back is Murray or Bentley. What missions do we have? We have a slime mission over there. Friend in need. Spice in the sky. And I think that's it. We're both slime missions. Okay. No need for Murray yet. How come we got a bleep bloop for Bentley's and Sly's upgrade, but Murray didn't? <laughs> Okay, Spice in the Sky takes place over there. I wonder if that has to do with, like, the helicopter that we saw over there. A friend in need. This is going to be Bentley getting one of those clockwork pieces. Or what? Are you going to toss them onto the train? We need the Spice first. Maybe we go for this. So that we can blow up in the hatch. They're both, they're both slide missions. We'll do both of them. All right. So... On the next episode of Sly 2 Ban of Thieves Blind, uh, we know where all the clockwork pieces are around here. Two, heart, two lungs and a stomach. Uh, they're in the trains, so we need to find a way to get inside the trains. So on the next episode, we'll be finding a way to get inside the trains. So until next time, hopefully you enjoy.